This is Hidden Killers Week in Review. A look back at the most prolific stories of the week. Behind every locked door is a story waiting to be uncovered. This is Hidden Killers with Tony Bruschi, featuring psychotherapist and author Siobhan Scott. Donna Adelson, her trial has been postponed. Why? Because at the very, very last minute, Charlie, who shared the same attorney with his mother, did not want to sign a waiver allowing this attorney to represent her the same way that he represented him, basically uh, hindering ability to cross-examine uh, to the degree that they want to uh, and for conflict of interest. Joining me to discuss, Siobhan Scott, psychotherapist and author. This is a family that obviously we know is big on manipulation, allegedly, or if we you know, believe the charges against Charlie, they just are. Uh, as far as who is all involved, that's why Donna is going to court to you know, discover her innocence uh, or guilt. What's your reaction to this latest delay that was basically, you know, inflicted, created by a member of the family? Yeah. Uh, you know, first thought, why in the world would it be so last minute? So it is mm -hmm. very suspect. And you have to wonder, what is the real agenda here? Mm -hmm. What's what's going on? I mean, is there any any benefit to delaying this further? I mean, everybody was pretty much ready to go. The state had actually brought in, I believe, like 100 potential jurors um, oh. and delay, 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 delay. You can only delay so long. What would be the advantage here? I, I don't even know if this was even of Donna's choosing because she seemed right. very upset in court when right. this came down. It seemed more of it was a Charlie pulling the strings on this one. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's very strange. And I honestly don't know, uh, waiting a month, uh, are they going to try and delay again in October? You know, it's it's um, kind of a strange one. When it comes to the rest of the family, because they've, they've slowly seemed to have picked people off uh, from the beginning uh, whether it be the actual hitman to the girlfriend of Charlie to Charlie. And then we saw Donna get arrested uh, shortly thereafter of uh, Charlie's conviction. Um, we still have Wendy out there. We still have uh, Harvey, her husband, uh, out there. That's an interesting uh, interesting mix of people who have not been charged in, in this yet. Uh, what I mean, what are the odds here uh, when we're talking about the relationship that Donna had with her husband that he would not have some idea as to what the hell was going on or be involved in it? Could, can, could, the, could this really be a case where he was just completely out of the loop, completely just the, the oh, hey, whatever you want, honey, you know, you do it. That I mean, that's kind of how I picture him. But again, he, he was ready to go on that flight to Vietnam as well. He had to have mm -hmm. some idea what the hell they were doing. One would certainly think so. Wouldn't it be interesting to have an in-depth conversation with him? Um, yeah, he he knew they were fleeing, but did he completely comprehend the degree of involvement that she had in the murder? Um, he may not have. He may not have. He may have thought that, you know, this was all unfair. And, and obviously he was used to letting her direct the show to a large degree. Um, but it would it would be interesting to have a have a sit down talk with him. I mean, have you ever seen that with with a family dynamic where one or where they, a husband wife dynamic where one is really out to do something horrible and the other completely clueless? Even though I mean, this is like right underneath his nose. This is not you know it's like not like a secret affair or something. I mean, the kids seem to be involved. She seems to be involved. How would he not know of this? Yeah, I, I think he had to have some degree of awareness. Usually when these kind of things come up where the spouse really had no idea, it's tax evasion yeah, or you sure, know, sure. lying to the IRS. I've seen a lot of that. I've yeah. never seen one of these kind of situations. Yeah, where it's it's much more, it's a murder that's involved. And we got exactly. Wendy uh, out there as well. Um, with not having charges against any of these people, why do you think that is? Do you think there's just not charges out there to be brought yet or... Are they just, are the authorities sitting there going, you know what, more time to hang themselves, more time to incriminate themselves as the the process of justice rolls forward on Donna? Certainly would be something they'd be talking about probably with friends, family. Yeah. Um, are they just kind of letting them, here, here's your rope, go see what you do? 
Yeah, certainly could be. We would assume that if they had enough to make a case, because they're not going to charge them unless they think they've got enough to really make it stick. Mm -hmm. um, it, it may be that, you know, they're waiting to see, or they may have just decided at this point, we're, you know, we're going to go for the ones that we think we can get a conviction on. Yeah. I mean, because this is not one of those cases where, like, for example, Diddy and such, there was another arrest around him. And I imagine they're now watching some other people very closely to see what their actions are, incriminate themselves after the fact. Um, and that's usually for for like sex trafficking or drug mm -hmm. rings operations where you're going to pull a lot of people down who are still out there potentially hurting others. This seems to be kind of said and done. I don't think Wendy's out to kill anybody anymore. I don't right. think uh, Harvey's, you know, out there. It's just they're just kind of sitting ducks. So I'm, I'm trying to understand what the reasoning would be to let them just sit there again, unless maybe they just don't quite have enough yet and they're just going to yeah. wait till they do. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of lean toward that, that thought that they just don't have enough. And if they did, we would already see it moving forward. It's going to be fascinating. She has uh, the uh, next hearing uh, coming up with case management on October 15th. And from there, they will decide um, where this goes, what the uh, what the next trial date will be. New uh, lead counsel in place as the other one, Dan Rashbaum, uh, stepping aside because of that conflict of interest. All right. True crime addicts, let's cut the crap. You're knee deep in the gory details of your favorite podcast when suddenly a commercial hits like a bad meal. Seriously? You deserve better. Upgrade to True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts, where you can binge without those annoying ads. Plus, get extended interviews that go deeper into the darkness and early access to episodes so you can be the first to know. It's like trading up from fast food to fine dining, but with more blood. So, go ahead. Search for True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts. Subscribe and feast on the good stuff.